I'm uh, the lead counsel in a climate case that is now pending before the court of first instance in The Hague, uh, where we have sued on behalf of 900 Dutch citizens and a Dutch NGO, the government, uh, because of uh, lack of adequate uh, climate policies. And here we point out that the state has, amongst others, a constitutional duty to safeguard the habitability and environmental quality of the country, and that the state has also a duty to safeguard human rights within its border. Well, what we're using here is, is uh, not as much the eco-side approach, but the uh, tort law approach. The government is committing a tort of negligence, uh, breaching its and violating its duty of care to protect uh, its citizens and my clients against the dangers of dangerous climate change. And dangerous climate change equates to a two-degree warming. Also, we contend that because of the severity of the consequences of dangerous climate change, that the violation of the state's duty of care also constitutes an infringement of human rights. More specifically, the right to life and the right to family life as defined in the European Convention on Human Rights, Article 2 and Article 8. Such a ruling would hopefully make everybody more aware that the scientific debate is over, that the dangers connected to climate change are real and serious and will affect us all, and that the bigger contributors to the climate problem, such as big fossil fuel companies and national states, are all at the risk of being liable in the future. We have to pierce the corporate field, so to say, and the same goes for government. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about people in high positions making the good choices. Um, so if there would be some pressure from uh, a law of ecocide, for instance, uh, for those people to consider uh, a, little bit, a little bit better of what they're doing, uh, that would be of great help. Uh, at the end of the day, decisions are made by people, and the law of ecocide would provide us with a tool to... Uh, to go after those people if they make the real, real bad decisions.